I'm Random Stranger, and I'm playing the most infuriating game ever made. Run to Area C. Area C, okay. I've actually made two attempts at this recording that have both fallen apart because the game fails to recognize common words 60-70% of the time. Launch yourself. And these words are ones that are necessary to get through. <laughs> we have our first new monster in forever. Well, I guess we had the plant guy last time. Tail. 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 Tail, tail, tail. Flea. Yes. Number two. Number two. Mouth, stomach, head. Mouth, stomach, head. Stomach, mouth. Stomach. Reload. Reload. Mouth, stomach. Mouth, straight. Mouth, stomach. No. No. Dodge. <laughs> Flea. Flea. Stomach, mouth. Stomach. Reload. Reload. Stomach, mouth. Stomach. Mouth. Mouth. Dodge. Back. Flee. Yes. Mouth, stomach. Mouth. Auto fire. Auto fire. Dodge. <laughs> Strafe. Strafe. Reload. Reload. Stomach. Stomach, stomach, stomach. Run. Yes. Stomach. Yes. Stomach. Yes. Stomach. 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 Yes. Stomach. Yes. Stomach. Okay, now we can fight the new guy. Flee. Yes. Turn around. Turn right. Okay. I've already learned his weak point, at least. So, mouth. mouth. Front leg. Right Hind leg. Right, right stomach. Right stomach. Left stomach. Mouth. Left stomach. Right stomach. Red stomach. Red stomach. Mouth. Oh, had to reload. Mouth. Red stomach. Heel. No! Oh, she needed it. Mouth. Mouth. Okay. Good enough. Let's move on. The key here is that after you injure some of its legs, its limbs, uh, you can cause it to flip over when it jumps. And then shoot out the stomach parts, which will eventually reveal the red spot. It's a launcher shell. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Well, the problem when I was recording before is every time I said red stom uh, right stomach, she'd decide that meant recover. And since I lost all my recoveries when she was at full health that way, I restarted on that. Run to Area B. Is he actually one? Area B. Okay. I also failed the next section because it didn't understand me when I said the word forward. And it required... this is a timing puzzle coming up. Oh. Wait a second. Um... If this wall weren't here, I could keep going through the ducts. I wonder if the launcher will wreck it. I'll try. Let's do it. Yeah, a rocket launcher on a space station's a really bad idea. Okay, let's go. I guess I'm going to have to walk on these ducts. It... It's pretty high up. But I have to go. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> that was close. There are spots where the ducts are wobbly. And looking closely, I see that there are broken sections here and there. Listen, can you guide me safely across by checking on your monitor? Okay. Red. Blue. Green. Is that all right? Yes. Okay. I have total faith in your ability to lead me across those ducts. I'm ready to go. 
Now she won't walk off the end. So as long as I tell her to jump to the right one, blue, she'll be fine. Red. I can't go forward from here. Red. Yes. Forward. Yep. You see when I say forward, it only does the half way mark. Blue. <laughs> so a little bit less than half the time, it doesn't understand me when I say stop. Uh, green. Green. It's tough to provide commentary and do this, but it's okay. I needed to fall here once because run to area B. Area B. Okay. It's a dead end. It doesn't look like I can go on through the lower way. Oh, a heel capsule. Let's find a way of getting up to the ducks. Run to area A. Area A, okay. Run. Yes. I think I can get up from here. Guide me properly this time, please. Blue. Uh -uh. Red. Yes. Blue. <laughs> Green. Uh -uh. Blue. Green. Red. Uh. We managed to finally make it here. I'll be taking even bigger risks from here on out. You know I'm counting on you, Operator. Oh boy, a timing puzzle where it won't even understand me most of the time. Green. Stop. Yep. Forward. Yep. Stop. Red. For stop. Huh? The ceiling's low. Forward. Huh? Blue. <laughs> Red. Yes. Forward. What? Which stop? Green. Uh. Forward. Too late. Uh. Ah. Ah. Run to area D. Area D. Okay. I can't go any farther this way. I'll have to turn back. Huh? <sighs> Lucky. I'll take this. I'll turn back. Run to area C. Area C, okay. Guide me properly this time, please. Green. Uh, uh. Stop. Oh, Red. Uh. Forward. What? Blue. <laughs> Stop. Yep. Forward. Huh? Forward. Yep. Stop. Yep. Green. Uh. Forward. Yep. Stop. Uh. 
Red. Stop. Yep. Okay, let's see here. Blue. Forward. What? Forward. I'm on the center duct right now. Forward. Yep. Stop. Yep. Green. Forward. Yep. Stop. Yep. Okay. My plan right now is to go forward one step and then move back and forth as necessary. But I'm going to wait for the green to cycle through once more. I think I can do this though. Forward. What? Forward. Huh? And I've missed my timing because she didn't recognize my voice. Forward. Yep. Oh, I had to get. I thought I could get off to the end of it before that happened. Run to area C. Area C. Okay. She might have made it if she understood me the first time. Guide me properly this time, please. Green. Red. Blue. Stop. Yep. Forward. Yep. Green. Stop. Yep. Forward. When she said, yep, I had my hopes up for just that instant that she might make it. Run to Area C. Area C. But no, she was saying, yep, I'm going to do the exact wrong thing, despite what you ordered. Guide me properly this time, please. Let's try a little bit different here. Maybe that's... Maybe I can try a different word. Green. Stop. Yep. Go. So what? Doesn't work like that. Fine. We're gonna wait the cycle then. Forward. Yep. Red. Uh. Blue. Green. Uh. Red. Uh. <sighs> Stop. Yep. Okay. Let's cross back over to green. See if we can get forward. Green. Forward. Yep. Stop. Yep. Forward. Yep. Blue. Yep. Okay. So I have to tell her to go green and then forward, and if she understands my command, I get a make it through. If she doesn't, I'm screwed. Green. Uh. Forward. Yep. Red. I can't go Red. Forward. Uh. forward. What? Forward. Yep. Forward. Blue. What? Blue. Uh. Blue. Seriously? The last step? Ow. 
Your instructions are lousy. I hurt all over. Ouch. Your instructions are lousy. I don't know what the word forward means. It's a launcher shell. I'll take that. Thanks. It's pretty high up. I have no choice but to jump down. Uh. I can't go back now. Let's move on. Alright, where are we now? Run to waiting room. The waiting room. Okay. We get another room to explore. At least it's not a hotel room. Oh no. If only this reporter were alive, I could ask her. Yeah, that's what's sad about someone's death. Can you wait a sec? There's something I'm trying to find. Mixtape, no. I'm looking for a disc dated August 8th. Can you help me look for it? It's Christmas. Why would she bring it on board the station? The blue star. Blue star pattern. Here. But the date is wrong. Red with blue star. Okay, red and blue spots. This one? August 7th. Close, but not quite. Red memory disc with blue star. A red and a white disc? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay... Zoom in. Maybe there's another distinguishing feature I could see. Nope, won't let me zoom in. Blue star. Blue star pattern. Here. No, she's going to keep referencing that one. Blue star on right. Blue star pattern. Here. But the date is wrong. Red disc with blue star. Okay, red and blue spots. This one? August 7th. Close, but not quite. Okay, what's the magic word? Tell me, Feck, what is the magic word? Check disc with red on, and blue me. star. A disc with a star pattern? What color are the stars? Blue. Okay, the blue disc? But there are a lot. Which one? Red disc. Oh, the red disc? But there's so many. Which one? Blue star. Blue star pattern. Here. But the date is wrong. Ugh. Okay. She is just the worst. Let me think. Come on, help me look, please. Red and blue stars. Red and blue stars. But there's only the blue star on that one. 2029, August 8th. There's only a blue star. It's not red and blue stars. To know why a waitress would be fighting alien monsters alone on a space station? Well, what I'm looking for is what compels me to fight. It's... it's right here. Watch. Well, now we know exactly how much of the world's attention is focused on the station hotel. Here comes the hotel manager. Let's get his thoughts. 
Mr. Tanaka, when is the hotel grand opening? Well, we're targeting this coming Christmas Eve. I was half watching this news report in my apartment. And then I saw something that shocked me. See the glass case in the corner of the screen? Can you see something like a ball in it? Well, not when you block it with your head. It's something that can't be there. It's something that shouldn't be there. I took the waitress job here to find out more about that round stone, but I haven't a clue where it's at. I thought I lucked out when the same reporter came aboard to cover the opening ceremony. I figured I could ask her. <laughs> Since the reporter can't help us, we'll have to show this footage to others and ask them. Who do you think we should ask? Who do you think we should ask? Um, Naomi. Helen Johnson. If only she were alive, but it's too late now. We should look for someone else. Naomi. Like asking you is gonna help? We have to ask someone else. Naomi. Like asking you is gonna help? We have to ask someone else. PM. I don't know anyone like that. Gino. Gino. Good idea. A security guard would know. Well, there's only like four people with names. Let's find him. Oh, by the way, would you like to know more about the stone? I shouldn't say it. I shouldn't say it. Yes. You're certain? Yes. Okay. You really want to know. But... I bet you wouldn't believe me if I told you. It's... There are some things that are better left unknown. It's going to be long, crappy exposition. Right behind the monitor room you're in, there's a small escape shuttle. I'll find the stone, your girlfriend, and make my way to the shuttle. It can carry three people. Please help me until then. You might have mentioned that before. Okay. Let's check out the room first. Check the window. The window. Okay. Earth is so far away. Phew. Where are we on the I space station? Don't think we need to check this place. Check the business center. The business center. Okay. Check the copier. Which copier do you mean? Front copier. It's an ordinary copier. Oh, look. There's a document in it. Open front copier. Open? This copier uses an internal feeder for scanning. You can't open it. Turn on front copier. Make a copy? Okay. I'll press the button. Hey, something came out. Jump is written on it. Jump. Yep, it's just ordinary everyday copier paper. Jump. Yep, it's just ordinary everyday copier paper. Okay, what's that thing on the right? Check the scanner. Yep, it's just ordinary everyday copier paper. Uh, check the bulletin board. The table. Okay. Stop. Go to bi stop. Go to business center. I don't think a DVD player is necessary. It doesn't appear as if there's anything we need. Let's check somewhere else. Go to business center. The business center. Okay. Check wall panel. Do you mean that? There we go. Check key box. The observatory restaurant's key is in here, but this is locked. So, uh, is this a box that I'm not allowed to open? Or... Access authentication in progress. Please state your name. 
Rio Hohenheim. Manager's name not recognized. Access denied. Huh? You have to say the control staff manager's name for this to open. I have no idea who the control staff manager is. I'll entrust you with that. Can you open it, operator? Tanaka. Manager's name not recognized. Access denied. Oh. That's not it? Who could the person be in charge? Okay, there's Jonathan and... Uh, Jonathan and G something. Please state your name. Okay. This time we'll get it, right? Jonathan. Please state your full name. Jonathan. Oh, of the control staff. That must be it. But where can we get his full name? Now what to do? We heard it actually in the room. Why doesn't... Okay. Let's check out the rest of the room. Go to vending machine. The vending machines, okay. Let's see here. Check the corpse. The corpse? Whose body are you talking about? Check the reporter. Check Helen. Check Helen. Check the close corpse. How am I supposed to understand that? Fine. Check the couch. Look under the couch. Check the vending machine. Check the discs. The bench. It's not very comfortable to sit on this. There we go. She understands bench. Look under the Do bench. You mean this? Look under the bench. Okay, I understand. Why? Stop! Yes. Why is she accepting half commands? I'm holding down the button. Go to vending machine. The vending machines. Okay. Look under the bench. Under the bench? It's a heel capsule. Check Helen Johnson. If only I could have met her just a little earlier. Check cameraman. This cameraman. He went everywhere with Helen. Uh, check DVD. It's just news footage. We won't be needing this disc. Um, hmm. Let's see here, then. Uh, check plant? It's an ordinary leafy house plant. Check left dispenser? If there is something, it would be good. Nope. Too bad. It's empty. Check right dispenser. Inside, it's empty. Okay... Huh. Check the camera. Do you mean this? Let's see what's the magic word they want. Okay. Check the video camera. It's a TV camera. Like for live interviews? Huh? What's this? I found a chip. Okay. Go to business center. The business center. Okay. I try to open the key box one more time. Access authentication in progress. Please state your name. Jonathan something. Oh, come on. Think. Jonathan Turner. Manager's name confirmed. Access approved. 
You did it, Operator. The key box opened. It would have been great if the observatory elevator's code key were also here. Okay, we can get into the observatory restaurant now. Let's go. One more thing to do before we wrap up this episode. Consultation. Okay, consultation it is. Okay, what would you like to know about? You've got great reflexes. I'm proud of my athleticism, but my decision-making sense is weak. I'm kind of like a cat that way. Where is Gino? He must be running around trying to rescue guests. I hope to goodness that he stays unharmed. I have to show him this DVD's footage. We're not bringing the DVD player with us, though. You just said that. You're looking for a green orb? It's not an orb. It's a stone. If it's what I think it is, I can't ignore it. I also thought it was blue. And she called it blue. I wonder if Naomi is safe. I wonder if Naomi is safe. Let's believe that. I'm not sure how to put this, but... I think someone with a beautiful soul has a good chance of surviving. That's right, because only good people get to survive. That alien earlier. That monster we met at the receiving port? It's completely unlike the others in appearance and power. Bullets had no effect on it, so I can't see myself defeating it. I wonder if the manager is okay. This place is ruined forever as a hotel. He's probably cursing up a storm somewhere. The announcer was dead. I doubt it ever crossed her mind once that she would die here. But I still have hope, since we managed to find other clues. And that wraps it up. We're going to try to find Gino next time. See what we can do.